Hello and welcome back to Into the Chatterverse, where two gents share their two cents on pop media. I am Victor Dandridge, the hardest working man in comics. Uh, and I'm Bill. I'm trying to figure out how Star Wars is going to completely ruin this show. <laughs> what, what, what could Star Wars have to do with this particular show? I... It's the show we're going to talk about. Okay, all it's right. It's not our show. It is It is not our show. Um, what we are here to talk about is Agatha All Along. Um, I would say it's probably the most unique spinoff thing I've ever seen uh, from a character who shows up in a show and makes an impression enough so that people not only have like a theme song that has stuck in our minds since it happened, but they get their own show. Um, I think the closest thing to it would be like the Jeffersons or something like that um, and its connection to All in the Family. Like that's the closest I can think of to anything like this. Is there something that you can think of that has this kind of offshoot setup? Well, I mean, All in the Family had more. Than I mean, just it definitely that. did. There was uh, Maud. Right. And um, Good Times also as well. Oh, Good Times is part of that universe, isn't yeah. it? Oh my God, it's a whole and then whole universe. You know, Archie Bunker's place after that. I don't think I ever watched that one. It didn't last very long. Okay. All right. That makes me feel good. Um, but yeah, like in terms of a character who, I'm not saying that she didn't matter. I mean, obviously she ended right. up being the antagonist of WandaVision in a big, bad way. Uh, but for her to get her own sort of spotlight, I think is very unique and interesting. And the closest thing that we've seen to something like that in the MCU is Loki. And not something I would have expected um, from the character Agatha. Um, not that she's not a fun character in this setup yeah but in comics that is not <laughs> she is well, not really a foreground player when it comes to things well it's also not the way she looks it's, it's very similar to <laughs> not at all madam web Ooh, the old lady's made young yes. absolutely absolutely um so first and foremost did you enjoy uh katherine hahn's performance as agatha in wandavision i Barely remember. Okay. I barely remember WandaVision altogether. I mean, that's that's fair. Because I thought it was okay. Right. I'm one of those people that if they hadn't dropped all th the first three episodes yep. at once, yep. I would have been very frustrated after the second episode. I totally get that. Now, in comparison with WandaVision dropping three episodes and Agatha all along dropping two, does that mean that Agatha has a better standing that they could reserve at least one issue or episode before continuing, like, is that a statement to you, or that just happens to be what they did? I, I think it just happens what, to be what they did because they didn't have to drop the two episodes. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, dropping the three episodes for Wandavision mm -hmm. is basically they were just all the same episode, True. taking place at different points in time in right. TV, um, which is why it annoyed me so much because <laughs> it was so repetitive. Um, I thought they could have just dropped the, the first episode of mm -hmm. of Agatha, and I still would have watched the second one. I was I was entertained. Mm -hmm. I, it felt like it felt like an episode. It did. Can't say that much about any Disney TV show. That's a really good point on the, on streaming. Yeah. Um, of the ones that I've watched, because I'm sure there are a couple out there that I have not watched under the name of Disney. Fair, more than fair. Um, with that first episode, um, I thought we were going to get somewhat of the same vibe of WandaVision of a show within a show a little bit longer than we got. Um, I thought that was an interesting sort of setup, bring in, but they dropped it a lot faster than I thought they were going to. I think it was a good idea. It's, I mean, because it, it, otherwise you're just... Repetitively You're just ripping off thing. where you came from. I agree, I agree. Um, but I did like the tone of what that um, true crime series was. Yeah. Um, and I kind of had this thought uh, before, one of the things I think that the modern phases of Marvel is missing are the little shorts that they used to do during phase one. So you had like Fury's Big Week, you had um, item number 41, like all these different things. I would love to see like a little bit longer of a backstory of this true crime story featuring Agatha. I think it's such an interesting like presentation. Like there was something about it that was so interesting as a show that I actually want to see a little bit more of it. Not that I want it to be the point of her show. Right. You you just like a five minute. Yeah. You know, yeah. Here's some extra scenes. Give me some more of that because that or, was fun. Even yet. Yeah. How about they give us scenes from 
what the show was taken from. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yes, and yes. I, I, I think I enjoyed that the most out of everything is that not only is this a made up show, right? But it's based on a made up show, <laughs> which is brilliant. Yeah, like that was that's mad fun. Um, okay, so with the first two episodes, I think we have a really solid setup of what we're supposed to expect from this journey. Yeah. Um, and they, they literally make it a journey. You have the witch's road set up, um, and it's at its core, Agatha trying to get back her power. And I think that's like a very simple protagonist uh, motivated story. And I feel like because she is such an ancillary character and the story seems so simple that we're gonna go for some pretty wild rides, or at least I'm hoping that we go for some wild rides among this. Um, how much do you think that, or do you want for it to be an introductory space for other magic-based Marvel characters that we have not seen before? I mean, I'd be fine with it. I'm not. I don't. I'm not into the magic part of, of Marvel. Yeah. I'm just waiting for everyone to go. Mephisto, Mephisto. I mean, it's just coming. Like, it's uh, coming. Uh, yeah. it's I, I coming. look forward to the time when <laughs> Kevin Feige comes out and he goes, um, "You know how many times you've said something about Mephisto? Yeah, it's not never happening. <laughs> never, ever, ever, never, <laughs> he ever. He can't take it away from us like that. And Come then, on. And then drop it in. And then he's in it. <laughs> drop it in uh, something like Armor Wars. I mean, that's supposed to be because why not? And then. Like, <laughs> Mephisto shows up and is dead immediately. <laughs> like, right away, he just dies? Just like uh, X-Force in um, oh, Deadpool 2. Oh, that's messed up. That is messed up. Um, <laughs> I think that would be actually quite funny. So, yes. Um, as I was saying before, I think with this particular show, what I hope that it does is it explores the, the Marvel... Um, magical side but goes more supernatural where i think doctor strange has inadvertently gone more cosmic um i would like to see that and i think that not that it has to uh connect to like something like werewolf by night but it gives a place for it where this is more about the monster side of magic um that's not necessarily again more cosmic oriented because like some of the characters that doctor strange has has gone up against i think while it is still magic, it's such a higher scale that the Sorcerer Supreme has to take it on that it's it's bigger. And I'd like to see something a little bit more grounded. Um, some of the key like things that I I pitched uh, to our buddy Rob Jefferson of Comics Explain, some folks that I would love to see. So like Brother Voodoo, I would love to see that. I want to see a reference, just a reference, because I like you know these building blocks to uh, Sidorak. Um, who obviously with Doctor Strange, he would do like the Crimson Bands of Sidorak, but the, was the crystal stone of, of Sidorak is how you become the Juggernaut? Give me a little bit of those things that have bigger context in the, in the grand you know, MCU, even if you don't explain what all they are. It's little things for us, the long-term readers, where you're like, oh, well, at least that sets up what that is. And if that does happen down the line, we already have a benchmark for it. That's what I want this to be more than anything. Do you have a different name for Brother Voodoo? Uh, no, that that's one that they've not modernized. Um, I mean, I, I it was a dumb name when it came out. It was. It, it it's was still a dumb name. I would I would like them to come up with a code name as yeah. opposed to like Brother what Voodoo? they well as opposed to what they did with Luke Cage. True. I mean, instead of, instead of calling him Power Man, they call him Luke Cage. Right. They call him by his first name. Yeah. Cause they, and they also did that with um, uh, M'Baku, who in the comics is known as Manape, and they realize that that might be a problem. Um, so they don't call him Manape. Although the Jabari are the Manape tribe, that is not what they, they don't call them Manapes under any circumstance. So I think that's wise. Yeah. I, I, they could come up with a name, though. Yeah. That yeah. would be. Reasonable. Yeah. I mean, Jericho Drum, just call him Jericho. Like, that's fine, too. Yeah. That's his name. Um, so I totally get that. Um, I'm trying to think other, like, aspects of it, because this also could, could, far reach, far reach, um, build up Dr. Doom. Doom has both technological, scientific advancements, but he also has a magical background. And I wonder if any of this is built to lead towards him now um now it wasn't going, what the plan was now you're going with mephisto i didn't say mephisto you didn't say that but that's where that went 
Yeah. Yeah, and that would be that would be a direct correlation to Doctor Strange. That would that would um, maybe Ghost Rider. It's still awesome, Miss Fisto though. I just <laughs> there's a there's a lot there. There's a lot. Um, they've t- they've done two different versions of Ghost Rider. You know what? Ghost Rider looks fine. Yeah. But as a character, I true. could care less. <laughs> I mean. I'm not a Ghost Rider guy, so I, I can't argue for him under any circumstance. I have zero and have always had zero issues of Ghost Rider in my collection. I, I got the new ones when they revamped Ghost Rider yeah. with um, Mark Texiera. Okay, okay. Because it looked great. It did, as, it did. As opposed to what it used to look like. Well, But I quickly became bored of it. It's only so many things that you can yeah. do with the penance stare. Right, like it's right not... up there with Puncher. <laughs> knock them down uh we're gonna get all kinds of comments below of people that are like hey don't you say an unkind thing about punisher or ghost Rider around here um if you like skulls you like skulls i mean i give it to you um okay so with these first two episodes um did you have any characters that stood out to you as any sort of fan favorites i mean i love aubrey aubrey plaza i mean you have to um, i think she'll eat your soul if you don't i, I just you know yeah she can do so much just with her eyes alone She's amazing. Um, Absolutely amazing. And I loved her in Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that's my movie. I, I love that movie, period. Um, but she has like such a deadpan yeah. sort of thing yeah. that it's it feels like it's it stabs you in the soul. Yeah. And, and I, I could like I could sit in a room and have her just yell at me. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. This just got sensual. This got real sensual. Um I liked uh Lila Lilia? Lilia? Caldero, the the psychic. Okay, I enjoyed her a lot, especially because she seemed to not have any real control over when her powers really kicked in. Yeah, and that was funny to me. Um, I hope that that plays out in the rest of the series in fun, interesting sort of ways that just makes her more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, now we did kind of talk about this for a hot second, and I will openly admit that I'm I'm right along with you. Um, the character Jennifer Kale, played by uh, Sashir Zamata. Um, totally threw me for stereotypical reasons. And I want to say, like, far from it being any sort of racial standing, it's more about branding within the MCU that when you see a black woman with borderline bald short hair, yeah. the immediate uh, like correlation is the dormilaje. Right. Is that a fault of what they've done? To, to make people immediately assume that? Or is that a success? Well, uh, so I never knew that... I never knew who she was. I saw her on The Daily Show. Okay. And someone me- and they mentioned that she was in the Marvel Universe, but they didn't say what she was in. And I'm Got like, you. I'm like, I looked at her face, and I'm like, she could have been... I could see it. I could see it. But, you know, one, once I saw her in this, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. You know, yeah. you know it... Whatever it is, it's fine. When she when they walked into the store and I started, I was like, "Oh, is she is she Wakandan?" Like immediately, that was my question: was was she Wakandan? And I I almost felt bad because I'm like, "Why?" Because she's black and bald. Like it's such a stupid. It, the thing. funny thing is, I didn't think that at all. Really? I, because I'd already thought that before. That she, okay, I got and you. And then when I saw her, she was in the show, You're like, and oh, I'm like, "Oh, this is clearly then, not." Yeah, I I, I, I just don't think that they would make that a crossover. Right. Um, I will say this. Yeah. Deborah Joe Rupp being in this makes absolutely no sense, and I think I love that. <laughs> you gotta love Miss Hart, man. She's she's the best. Um, making her part of the coven was even funnier. Yeah, because it's like you have no place here. You have absolutely exactly. no place. Um, it was great to see Emma Caulfield back. Um, I'm sad to see that it's listed as just one episode. So I'm like, oh, I I enjoyed well, her I, popping I up. I think a lot of this is based on what they know so far. Okay. Like, Catherine Hahn is obviously going to be in all nine episodes. Obviously, yeah. And the rest of them can't necessarily be in because they weren't in the first episode. That's true. That's true. Um, Except for Aubrey Plaza. She was in the first one. Right? Yes, she was. And so... She was the only one to know that she was in a... Right. In a a dream or whatever it was spelled. Yeah. Um, This is how we're going to play this? (laughs) <laughs> um there could be an episode she's not in yeah yeah but i i think it's just safe well except for joe Locke, who's on you know but 
IMDb is not necessarily the gospel. That is true. Um, I would say it is once a movie or the media has come out. Okay. You know, once they're done with all nine episodes. That makes so. sense. Yeah, because Joe Locke is playing <laughs> affectionately called Teen. Teen, yeah. Um, which is, that's nothing. Um, do you have any speculations as to who that character might be? Nope. Now ask me if I care. <laughs> do you care? Nope. Oh! No, um, I, I just, I want it to be entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Um, and not not being one of the mystical Marvel guys, tell me a good story. And that's all that matters. Give me, give me uh, characters I, I could give a crap about or want to see die. Right. Which still, I give a crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I totally get that. In fact, uh, speaking of characters that you want to see die, um, you threw out a, a wonderful idea about the mysterious person, quote unquote mysterious person, who uh, kicks off this whole investigation. Yeah. And we are led to believe that it is a particular person. Is that who you want it to be? No. Not I, at all. I just want it to be someone completely that makes no sense. <laughs> that it's just a made up name. Yeah. I I want I just want it to be a complete, you know, misdirect. A total Ralph Boner. It, yeah, exactly. I, I was I gonna you. just say that too. Yep. Go uh, shout out to uh <laughs> to uh, um WandaVision. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be when you said it, I'm like, oh my god, that would be hilarious. Because the assumption is so leaning towards it being Wanda. Yeah. It For it to not be Wanda would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, I have heard that there is a potential Wanda spinoff movie in the works. Uh, I have no idea where it is in terms of production. But there have been people that have been talking about it, especially this week, because of the show coming out. And so I think that would play into something way cooler if it's not her. You know, that way there is this wide open space of opportunity and maybe it is something else. Maybe yeah. it's, you know, um, I think that'd be fun. Um, we had something kind of interesting happen that I've not seen anywhere else in MCU where this is has a musical piece to it. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to continue throughout the entire thing, but would you be open to yeah. this being a musical? I, I, I loved uh, I loved the song. It was beautiful. I thought it was great. It was absolutely yeah. beautiful. Um True or false? They did a performance of that at D twenty three, right? I know I, I saw no, it. You somewhere. know, I didn't watch the. Uh, okay. I know I saw it somewhere. I'm sure I they probably did. Where. I think that because I re I remember hearing blurbs from that. Okay. Okay. I would go with yes, but yeah. also I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was it was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it, um, and I will I will admit. Okay, I'm a grown man. I'm going to tell you all this. Uh, when it comes to watching scary movies, the things that freak me out is when people do normal things abnormally. And I was all fine with watching this, understanding the creepy intent behind it. And with the seven sister witches things, when they showed up, it was when the one crawled down the steps. I knew you were going to say that. Dude gave me the heebie-jeebies. Because I'm like, why? Why did you have to? Like, they were already creepy the way that they just kind of expanded in number and they made their way. Coming down the steps like that, it messed me up just like a little bit. Yeah. It, I'm not gonna lie. It was awful. I'm like, ah like I just I it got me. It got me. And I know, like it's stupid. It's an MCU thing, right? It's, well, it just reminded me of every Japanese horror movie. Every single last yeah. one. Yeah. Ah, because they always gotta do something creepy and they're yep. ticking and you get the little tick 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 tick. Like, why? Why is that scary? Why? How do I overcome this? I don't know. Um Okay, so this one is a show that's dropping every Wednesday. Um, we've got nine episodes. So, what, we've got seven left? Yeah, so it's an eight-week run. First two episodes, yeah. and then seven left. Do we land around, what, where does that put us, like mid-November? Yeah. Okay, all right. So a little Thanksgiving love, and we're, we're MCU-free until uh, Brave New World. Is there not another show coming out or anything like that? I don't think so. If there is, I'm I'm woefully ill prepared for it. Don't know. I don't think. I mean, there it, is. this is the same thing. Like, does DC have anything coming out this <laughs> this year? Uh, the Joker. Joker two. Joker. Oh, I totally oh, forgot about. Right. That. Oh, well, geez. clearly, so did Warner Brothers because they didn't send anybody to do anything about it. Not at all. At any show. Not at all. 
Um, okay. So, yeah, we want to know your thoughts of the first two episodes of Agatha All Along. Um, when it comes to uh, songs, which one is in your head? Is it the Agatha All Along show or song from WandaVision or the one that opens up The Witch's Road? Which one are you singing right now? It's the, it's the Halloween season. It's fall. Um, you can sing both. It's fair. But I want to know what your number one between the two is. Let us know down below. Uh, as always, I'm Victor Dandridge, the hardest working man in comics. Uh, and I'm Bill and... Star Wars has totally ruined this for me. Oh my god. It's so bad. Like it's, it's got nothing. Never mind.